Andreas, it's nice to be with you here. Uh, you're the current president of the European Federation of Paleontology, but you're also uh, the chair of a committee, the SAC, the Scientific Affairs Committee of the EFP. But what is this committee doing? What are you doing in this capacity? And why is it important for me as a practitioner? Well, one of the main tasks of the committee is to produce the JCB Digest. This is a monthly edition that brings to the clinicians the most clinically relevant article of the JCP, the Journal of Clinical Periodontology. So what we do is that we look every month in JCP, we take the, most, the, the, the most clinically relevant paper and we make a short version uh, to, to give it to the practitioners, you know, they do not have the time to, to read the Oh yeah, I can, I can definitely see that because I'm, I'm a very busy person, you know, and we have all these articles in the JCP, which is uh, one of the crowns in the jewel of the European Federation of Paleontology. So it's one of the absolute top journals in dentistry, fantastically led by Panos Papapano. Uh, and uh, I think, yeah, well, whilst it has a lot of information in there and most of our members members pay for the subscription it may be a little bit hard to follow everything that's in there so you really have a summary of everything that's re relevant in the current issue of the jcp for clinicians i mean what we do is because it's, a, it's, it's one issue per month so, so we go into the jcp of that specific month and we really choose the most clinically relevant paper i mean jcp brings preclinical studies um, other biological studies and clinical studies. So we try to see what is relevant for the for the prior practice or the for the practice of periodontology, and, and we make a easily digestible review of that. And that's why it's JCP Digest. Okay, and I understand that it's translated in many different languages, even in, in, in even in Brazilian Portuguese that I didn't even know that existed. Correct. So uh, I think we have a very broad reach with that. Correct. It, it comes out in eight languages. Yeah. Okay, well, that's fantastic. So I think I w when I'm online next time with my phone or with my tablet device or something, I'll go to efp.org and I'll, I'll look at this digest. Yeah. It, it's really nice. You know, it's, it's really concise because you get a little bit of the background. Why is it relevant to have this type of study? Uh, it gives you a little bit of the content, the materials and methods, so you understand a little bit of the results. And then it has also some clinical implications of what it was published in this specific Are paper. you doing that yourself or who is doing all the work? Well, I, I, I do the selection. Are you so the boss? Eh? I'm the boss, so I, I have to do something. Eh? So I do the selection uh, and then this is sent out to the uh, EFP accredited programs, to the specialty programs, and then the students with the supervisors produce this um, this short version. And then I go after that and have a look that everything is nice, um, maybe uh, suggesting some diff different uh, approaches or different uh, uh, formulations. Uh, well, you know yeah. all the languages, you know, Andreas. Poly not, you're a polyglot. Uh, <laughs> yeah. so, not, not Brazilian Portuguese. Yeah. Well, but almost all of the others. So I think it's, it's a fantastic production. It's quality controlled. It gives you the act actual condensed version of the clinically relevant stuff. So I think it's something that I, as a member, would really love to have. And fantastic that you're producing that. So for all of our members, please point your browser to efp.org using your tablet, your mobile device or your computer and download the newest version of the EFP Digest, which is a digest of the clinically most relevant articles in this month's um, version of the Journal of Clinical Paleontology. The JCP is the best journal in perio in the world. And as we have heard from Andreas, all this information is fully curated and available in eight different languages. So there's something in it for you. So go to efp.org.